Hello everyone, my name is Pauline Salmaida and today I would like to explain about simple kinetic molecular model of matter. Have you ever heard about states of matter? There are three states of matter. Have a distinct physical form that matter can take in most environments, solid, liquid, and gas. Historically, the states of matter were distinguished based on qualitative differences in their bulk properties. Solid is the state in which matter maintains a fixed volume and shape. Liquid is the state in which matter adapts to the shape of its container but varies only slightly in volume. And gas is the state in which matter expands to occupy the volume and shape of its container. And here for the table of content. There are states of matter and change of state. The first one I would like to explain about state of matter. There are three states of matter which are solid, liquid, and gas. Solid. Solid is any material that has a fixed shape and fixed volume. Its particles are held by strong force of attraction called bonds. The particles vibrate to and fro about their fixed position. Strong force or overcome molecules start to move, or it can be called melted. For example, book, table, pencil, glass, and etc. Liquid. Liquid has a fixed volume but not fixed shape. It can flow to fill up any shape. It is also called a fluid. Free to move and when heated, they move faster and expand. Fast moving molecules at the surface will overcome forces of attraction and escape, or it can be called evaporation. Gas Gas is a material that has no fixed shape and no fixed volume. A gas quickly fills up any space available, and gas is also a fluid because it can move from one point to another. Particles of a gas are free to move about, there are no forces of attraction. Sometimes, they collide with one another and the walls of the container. Molecules break away in the big bubbles of gas, or it can be called boiling. For example, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and steam. Next is change of state. Change of state are physical change in matter. They are reversible change that do not involve change in matter's chemical makeup or chemical properties. Common change of state include melting, evaporation, condensation, freezing, sublimation, and deposition. The first one is melting. Melting occurs when the solid is changed to liquid. For example, melting of steel, melting of butter, and melting of candle. Next is evaporation. Evaporation is the process in which a liquid is changed to gas. For example, drying of clothes in the sun and drying of wet floors. Condensation. Condensation occurs when water changes from gas to liquid by condensation. For example, you forming on grass in the early morning. A glass is fogging up when you enter a warm building on a cold winter day. Water drops forming on a glass holding a cold drink on a hot summer day. Next is freezing. Freezing occurs when a liquid is changed to a solid. For example, ice cubes and formation of snow. Sublimation occurs when a solid is changed directly to a gas. For example, dry ice which is a frozen form of carbon dioxide. And the last is deposition. Deposition occurs when water vapor or gas change to liquid. Sorry, change to a solid. For example, when warm moist air inside a house comes into contact with a freezing cold window pane, and water vapor in the air changed to tiny ice crystal. Alright, that was pretty much it for the explanation about this topic. I hope you guys can understand. 
thank you and bye